Hi guys, Jeff Beatty from Creative Photoshop. Just want to give you a few couple of tips if you want to take pictures in the snow. While we've got it, I mean, look at this for a scene. Isn't that just beautiful? This place we're at now is called Carmel Dam. Uh, that's the water side behind us there. Uh, we've got lots of trees, lots of snow. We've got some water, all frozen. We've got logs, we've got twigs, we've got perfect elements to make great pictures. One of the most important things though is to get your white balance right. If your picture's looking a bit blue or you see pictures where they've got snow on it and the snow's blue, it's simply because the white balance is offset. Now, if you can control the white balance in your camera, what you need to do is point it at the snow. Not where you've got sunlight, but if you can find an area which is something like that, that will set your white balance. Uh, go into your auto menu, go into your set white balance, and then point at an area uh, that you want to call white, and then use something like that. Stay away from the sun line, that confuses it, you know. Anywhere where you've got nice, dark, even, without, um, you know, any kind of interfering light on it. And that will do it. Once you've set that up, that is going to give you um, a proper white balance and it's going to get your snow looking white as it should be. It's not blue, it's white. The other thing is the exposure. Now, because the light is very bright and there's lots of sunlight reflecting off everything, the camera thinks it's a brighter... Um, it needs to darken it because the scene's appearing very bright. Now what you need to do is, if you can control your exposure, up the exposure, give it a little bit of a longer exposure, maybe knock it up one stop, one and a half, two maybe. Or, what I like to do is forget that, just shoot it as it is and tweak it in Photoshop. If you adjust your exposure too much in the camera, what you're going to find is you're losing detail in the highlights. Now with snow, it's all about highlights. There's lots of shadows, lots of highlights. But if you're going to lose the detail in the snow, um, if you're going to lose detail in the highlights of the snow, you're going to spoil your picture. So what you need to do is make sure you don't overexpose the shot. If you overexpose your shot too much, you're going to lose the details and you can't get them back. That's where Photoshop comes in. Get it in Photoshop, we can brighten it up, not a problem. Okay, that's how to do it. I'm going to take you through a few little shots now. Um, I'm going to put the pictures online as well so you can download them and have a play around with them yourself.